As of 31st March 2020, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare has confirmed a total of 1,251 cases, 101 recoveries, 1 migration and 32 deaths in the country. Now let me tell you about some of the legal responses by the Indian authorities, which are commendable. On 3rd March 2020, the Indian government suspended the issuing of new visas and visas already issued for nationals of Italy, Iran, South Korea and Japan. On 4th March 2020, the Minister of Health and Family Welfare announced compulsory screening of all the international passengers arriving in India. On 9th March, an FIR was lodged against a man in Arunachal Pradesh for allegedly posting misleading information on social media regarding the outbreak of coronavirus. On 11th March 2020, the Indian government suspended all visas to India except diplomatic, official, uh, United Nations, international organizations, employment and project visas till 15th April 2020. India also suspended visa-free travel facility for OCI card holders till 15th April 2020 and all the Indian nationals coming from COVID-19 hit nations after 15th March needed to be quarantined for 14 days compulsorily. On 11th March 2020, Government of India announced that all states and UTs, Union Territories, should invoke provisions of the Epidemic Disease Act 1897. On 14th March, the Government declared the pandemic as a notifies, notified disaster beg your pardon, under the Disaster Management Act 2005, enabling states to spend a larger part of funds from the State Disaster Response Fund to fight the virus. On 16th March, the, the father of a woman whose husband had tested positive for coronavirus in Bangalore was booked by the Agra police for uh, allegedly misleading authorities about the whereabouts of his daughter who was a suspected patient. On 17th March, the government of India issued an advisory urging to all Indian states to take social distancing measures as a preventive strategy for implementation till 31st March. A government directive was issued asking all paramilitary forces to get into battle mode. On 18th March, a case was registered against the owner of a furniture shop in Maharashtra for issuing a misleading advertisement which claimed that mattresses sold at his shop cured the disease. Also, Lucknow police lodged FIR against Bollywood singer Kanika Kapoor for allegedly negligence or beg your pardon, for alleged negligence in compliance of necessary directives uh, post her return from, uh, from London. On 21st March, a chemist was booked for allegedly selling N95 masks at over four times higher than the fixed price in Himachal Pradesh. On, sec uh, on 22nd March 2020, India observed a 14-hour voluntary public curfew at the insistence of the Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The government followed it up with lockdowns in 75 districts where COVID cases had occurred, as well as all major cities. Further, on 24th March, as you all know, the Prime Minister ordered a nationwide lockdown for 21 days, which applied to the entire 1.3 billion population of India. On 24th March, a 54-year-old man who landed from Chennai at the Cochin International Airport uh, was arrested for refusing to follow instructions given by the doctors. A case was registered against a Coca-Cola plant in Himachal Pradesh for operating in violation of the lockdown order. 255 people in West Bengal were arrested for violating restriction order and were prosecuted under IPC Section 188. A man was arrested for hosting a party during the lockdown in Andhra Pradesh's West Godavari District, Hyderabad. Uh, 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 beg your pardon, uh, the Hyderabad Traffic Police seized 2,480 vehicles for, 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 uh, for applying during lockdown. On 25th March, two people were booked under Section 353, 188 and other relevant provisions of the IPC and Disaster Management Act 2005 for allegedly abusing and manhandling policemen during the lockdown in Maharashtra. On 26th March, Delhi police arrested a 40-year-old man and seized his scooter for, for allegedly calling a northeastern woman coronavirus and spitting at her. On 27th March, an Infosys employee 
uh, from Bangalore was arrested for his social media post that encouraged people to venture out and spread the virus. Three people were arrested for circulating a fake audio clip which suggested that 59 uh, virus cases were reported in Nagpur. Likewise, a 29-year-old person was arrested in Calcutta, uh, Kolkata for spreading rumors, uh, posting fake news on social media. Police also arrested three police officials allegedly shooting at a driver of a vehicle carrying potatoes and asking for a bribe of Rs. 5,000.